Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how S4 HANA has changed and actually not S4 HANA, how you can do enter a goods receipt in the goods receipt app and how you can, how it is different than the Migo. Okay, so let me show you. So here, if I suppose there is this, this is the transaction code ME23N and here I'm going to Migo. Okay, and I'm going to enter a goods receipt for it. Okay, so I'm going to create a session. I go to Migo. Okay, and here. Uh, so as you all know, MB01 is no more there. And uh, that's one of the casualty for uh, S4 HANA. And you, it has been replaced with Migo. So anyone who used to use, uh, uh, you know, MB01, um, you will not be able to use it. So here now, if when I want to, uh, when I want to enter, a goods receipt okay i click on uh click on supposed to quantity and i click on save okay so you have to flag it as okay that's the first thing and so this is one thing that you you have to do and then it gets saved okay uh now let me see what what is this is what we did in in the back end okay in the sap group. now we are going to show it how you can do it in the SAP uh, in the Fiori app. So what I'm going to do, I'll just search for the goods receipt app. Since I have a lot of app here, so it's easier to find the goods receipt app from here. So I'm doing a search and uh, pretty soon you'll see, see here we can say post goods receipt, okay? So here I will just click on post goods receipt for uh, purchase order okay and here i will enter the purchase order number so here i will show you some of those purchase order numbers low so there i will try to do something just for the thing and i'll try to hit enter so you might see there is no errors coming around so in order to see the error you have to click here you have to double click bro be very careful and it says not yet released this is one so you you have to see the error here in the bottom left make sure you see that okay uh, now suppose now I will put uh, suppose I will try to find another one suppose I want to see whether there is any other different errors I can find so let me see we'll pick up one of these okay and this one has I can do a goods receipt for this okay so what i'm going to do is here you can see there is uh, 189 okay what i'm going to do is we did the goods receipt for this purchase order so let me see i'll show you so i think i did it for line 20 probably right line 20 here yeah. this is the one that we did okay uh 551 okay now we are, we are going to do another one so let's see it. Uh, so the purchase order number is so copy 298 okay and click here answer will be lost are you sure yes of course i'm sure okay now you can see this this is the one now if i want to do the goods receipt here for one so i'll just click this one select item and I click on one here, just click one. And what I'm going to do, the post button is here. The attachment, you can add URL or whatever here. Okay, and you click post. Okay, so now here at this point, you didn't have to click okay, is the item okay and all those things. So probably that's one benefit, you don't have to do it. But I don't really know so here you can see this the material document got posted okay so this is the goods receipt that just got posted okay and it it takes you probably to the Migo screen okay from here so this shows it's still showing so material documents overview and in the meantime we can see that this got updated we will have 552 uh, in that place so let's go into line 20, 552 is there, you see, and here, this is, no, this is showing what is, what I just posted, okay. 
so this is going to be so this is one of the benefit you can see and let's go to the screen the material doc to that nico screen and here if i click on this you can do show advanced search i can do search term based on you know the purchase order number and all those things so you can do searches on this so this is pretty nice uh, let me see suppose i want to search with uh, uh, anything with uh, suppose a stool will it tell me uh, the id it was created no so it will not create but it will tell me other things so this is this is okay so you can find out all the purchase orders that you really want okay so uh, this is one pretty useful thing that you can do and again the error message important thing is the error message shows in the uh, bottom left portion and the post button is in the bottom right portion okay so and then you didn't have to click an extra okay uh, button that you have to do it in the transaction okay so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great day